Hey y'all, in this reading we're going to be asking the question, what is the energy in this connection? And we're going to be asking about you and your energy versus them and their energy. This is meant to be a love reading. So I'm going to be asking about, you know, a love uh, connection or a romantic connection or at least, a, you know, a potentially romantic co connection. And there are three piles to choose from, and I have just three really random objects uh, to select from. So pile one is this sculpture. A student of mine was a really uh, talented sculptor, and she made this and gave it to me. And this little object, a friend gave me this. It's shaped like a diamond. And then this little mushroom. I love this thing. My mom got this like in the 70s um, at a, like a little craft fair in New Orleans. So choose one of these objects, one of these very random objects, or um, just pick a number, one, two, three, whichever pile you feel drawn to, and I'll see you at your reading. Bye, y'all. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are going to be asking the cards um, about the energy in this connection. So the overall energy and the energy between you and whoever you're asking about, your energy, their energy, and any like future potential energy. I'm mostly going to use Oracle cards for this reading. Um, and then I'm going to pull a tarot card for the overall energy if we need any clarification. But I have the field tarot here, Kim Cran's archetype cards, the energy archaeology deck um, by Ashley Stinson, and the seed and, uh, no, sorry, the roots and wings oracle deck by Kat Riles. Um, so those are the cards I'm using. I'll put the information about the cards below. And we're going to start with the Kim Kranz cards. And I'm going to kind of um, lay these out. Uh, okay, that popped out. Not quite ready yet. Okay, so... We're going to ask um, first what your energy is and what their energy is, um, like the energy that you're putting off in this connection, like the energy that you're giving off towards the other person. So this is you. This is them. And then we're going to ask about... the energy between you and then any like potential future energy. So these three cards, your energy you're giving off towards them, their energy towards you, and then the current energy in the connection or between you two, that is meant to be like um, current energy. So it, you know, it may be only in the moment that you're watching this tarot reading, the next day it could change, the next week it could change. So this is meant to be like current energy. This is meant to be um, potential future energy and that could be tomorrow, next week, next year. Um, the timing on this is pretty open, open-ended. Okay. So I'm going to draw some cards for the same um, things, you, them, current energy between you, and then potential future energy. Okay. You, them, current energy, and then future potential energy. And then 
then for these cards, I'm just going to draw um, the current energy between you. If you usually watch my readings, um, I have a pretty wild shuffle. I usually just like the cards to pop out. But in this reading, I'm trying to be restrained. So this is new for me. So this is between you. And then this um, last card I'm going to draw is going to be uh, the just overall very, very general energy of the connection, just in general. Oh, okay, two popped out, so I'm going to take them. Okay, so we get the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. Okay, so this is the very general overall energy of this connection, you know, for right now. This, this is not like eternal energy. This is just kind of energy for now. So what I see here um, with these two cards is, first of all, um, there's a lot of logic and thinking. And this card from the Field Tarot, the keyword on it is authority. And um, there's a man sitting there, and he looks like he's in pretty intense thought. And he's holding that sword. Um, the King of Swords is pretty logical. So there's there's some thinking here, logical thinking. Um, um, not so much... Like an, an emotional feel to it. It's a very logical feel to, to this. And the other thing is the Two of Swords, this card. And this talks about decisions. And so I think a lot of that uh, thinking or, you know, maybe overthinking or logical thinking is about decisions that need to be made. And they're decisions that are sort of causing a standstill in whatever this is going on. So this could be both of, of you um, thinking very logically and maybe trying to uh, take very logical steps and make very logical decisions. And depending on what the other cards say, this could be, this could be saying like, there's maybe more logic than necessary in this situation. <laughs> It's, that's just kind of what I'm getting. Like, you know, this might be a situation where you kind of need to let some emotion um, take over. Not entirely. You know, some logical thinking is always good. But these two, these two cards kind of tell me there's a lot of sort of logical thinking going on in this connection. And that could be you or them or both of you. So just in general, and, and we might come back to these two cards depending on what we see here. Okay, so... I'm going to put those over there. So the energy that you're giving off in this connection, this is you over here. And again, you might not even be aware that this is what you're giving off. And the other thing is, if this completely just does not resonate with you at all, this might just not be the reading for you. So you could pick another reading or maybe, you know, there's just not something here for you. That, that happens often, I'm sure, as you know with pick a cards, but, um, and again, the other thing about this is these are very like current energies. Energies are always fluctuating day to day, hour to hour, week to week, month to month. So, um, you know, take all of this with a grain of salt. Okay. So the energy you're giving off in the connection is we get the abundance card, which is pretty lovely. Oh, and then the gem card. Wow. So, you know, I see um, openness and um, ab abundance, obviously, and color and like a welcoming energy and a very like sparkly energy. Um, this woman has like this huge thing of flowers on her head. Maybe you, you know, even look really nice and you always try to put your best foot forward in this connection, whatever it might be. Um, and this gem card talks about, you know, how a gem is sort of formed in, 
if you look around the gym, it's not so colorful. And, you know, gym, gyms are formed under all of this pressure. And so maybe you have, you know, a lot of pressure around you, but you, you still like sparkle, um, and, and you present yourself as a gym. Like there's something like very, um, colorful is the word that keeps coming to mind, like colorful and sparkly and beautiful about the energy that you're giving off in this connection. That's really nice. So this is the energy that you're putting out there. This is the energy they're putting out. Oh, hope. That's really sweet. That's very nice. And then the kiss. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, the kiss. Okay, so the hope card is very clearly, it's about hope, being hopeful. And, um, you know, just sort of having a sense of optimism about things. And then the kiss card is about like human connection and that sort of anticipation that you have before you kiss someone and you can see their hands, um, they're holding their hands here. And so, I mean, this just seems, <laughs> this seems in a way like you're kind of calling to each other. Like, it's kind of like you're, you are matching each other's energy which is so nice. I mean, that's really, really lovely. <laughs> um, so let's look at the energy between you. So we get grace. Aww. Um, this uh, deck, it corresponds with like bones in the body. So the bone it here for this is elbows. <laughs> so maybe there's something to do with elbows in your connection. And there's like this very gentle, graceful uh, doe deer here sleeping, which just seems very sweet. And we get passage. And passage, um, okay, so this card means something like completing a, some sort of cycle. And with the completion of that cycle, and it could be anything, um, you know, comes a new beginning and you're closing out some sort of chapter in your life. So maybe there's something that is occurring where one or, you know, both of you is sort of closing out uh, some chapter. And we'll see what the other card is to see how this is relevant. Interesting. So this, okay, this card, Kairos, it means like mythic time, like divine timing, perfect timing. Um, and so it could be that um, now that something has completed, a cycle has completed, something is over, there, this in this connection, what's going on between you is some sort of um, like perfect timing, like divine timing, um, mythic timing. This is different than Kronos, and Kronos is like, you know, our set logical time that we use on a daily basis. This is like divine timing. Um, so this is really lovely so far. Paul one. Um, let's see what the, the potential future energy is. Release. I think this goes really nicely with the um, passage card because you are letting go of some previous thing and it could be anything in your life that is, is passing on. And we get venom. And to me, with a combination of the passage card and the grace card um, and the divine timing card and the hope card and the gem and the abundance, this to me, so venom is like any kind of toxicity in your life. Um, that could be anything. You'll know what that is or any kind of toxicity in your relationship. I think there's a release of that. 
you're letting that go and you're letting your that is coming to an end and whatever it is in the past like okay if this it doesn't have to be but if this is an ex maybe there are things between you that you need to let go or like if this is a uh, current partner if if you've been in like a phase of having to release like old hurts and things or you know if if this is just a potential connection um it looks like you know your potential energy in the future is that you are releasing all these past hurts this past venom past anger past wounds past bad relationships past negative experiences and that makes so much sense with this passage card and the divine timing the kairos card um, and even the grace card because it takes quite a bit of grace to be able to let those things go and to release those things um this is just a really nice nice reading and and going back to the two sort of general general overall energy cards here this logical thinking card with the king of swords and this two of swords sort of um card where it's like a held up energy something is held up i think what what decision needs to be made and maybe what's holding things up in general or or maybe keeping things sort of stagnant is is this release this passage so it seems to me like whatever this is, like right now, there's a lot of potential here. Like, you know, you are the gem and you're quite abundant and that's what you are giving off in this relationship. Like you're a gem. You are this woman with this huge thing of flowers on her head. It doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. You could be a man too, but um, you have a lot to offer and then this, whatever this, whoever this person is, is very hopeful about um, the potential of this relationship. Um, this kiss energy is very sweet. It's very romantic. It's very um, intimate and um, like anticipatory. So this person, you know, might be giving off like energy of anticipation and then, you know, just the passage and the release of, of anything that's hurt you in the past. I mean, I, to me, it seems like that would potentially set you up um, for some kind of like reconciliation or some sort of relationship or like a, an optimistic future. And it's hard. It's not easy to release venom. It's not easy to release old wounds um, in ways that you've been hurt in the past, but really it seems like between both of you, that is what you're trying to do. And maybe you're trying to do that to come towards each other. And, you know, it might be that you just need to let your logical mind um, relax a little bit and maybe be more hopeful and optimistic and I think that would get you sort of maybe past some sort of stagnant period that you've been in. Like, you know, maybe it's been hard for you to release these things, which makes sense, or hard for you to move forward in this connection. Well, Pal One, um, this is a really nice reading. Um, I, I, it seems like there's a lot of potential here uh, for you and this person, whatever the case may be. And I'm, I'm pretty excited for you. <laughs> it's, this seems really nice. So I think I'll leave it here. Um, I think that this reading was really clear. I don't feel like we need much clarification here. And whoever you are, you're watching the reading, you seem like a really lovely, um, colorful, abundant um, gem of a person. So thank you so much for for watching this video and I hope it was helpful to you and if you liked the video please subscribe or press the like button and um, I have some other videos if you want to watch those and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all! Hey Pile 2! So in today's reading we are going to ask the cards 
about the energy that is going on in your connection. This could be someone you're involved with already or someone, um, you know, you're interested in, whatever the case may be. We're going to ask about your energy, their energy, the energy between you two currently and the potential future energy. And again, remember like, um, energies, they come and go, they fluctuate, um, you know, from day to day, hour to hour, week to week. And, and so these energies can always change. The other thing is if, if this reading just completely does not resonate with you, that's okay. It might not be the reading for you. And, um, that happens a lot with general reading. So I'm mostly going to use Oracle cards for this. I'm going to use um, tarot to get a really general, just broad idea of what the energy is in the connection in general. And then I'm going to use, um, so this is the field tarot. Then I'm going to use the Roots and Wings Oracle deck and um, Kim Cran's archetype cards and the Energy Archaeology deck to uh, get an idea of uh, your energy, their energy, and then the energy in the connection, and then the potential future energy. I'll have information about the cards in the description box below if you're interested. So we're going to start with just the general overall energy of the connection. And um, I'm going to draw a tarot card for that. Well, one came out, so we're going to take that one. We've got the magician for just the overall general energy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw cards um, for your energy, their energy, the energy con uh, currently in the connection, and the potential future energy. So this first card is going to be your energy in the connection or what you're giving off towards that person. Oh, okay. So there's two. I'm just going to take them. I didn't intend to get two. Um, the next one is their energy. And then the next one is just the current energy between you. And I'm going to take both of them because that one popped out like it wanted to come out. Usually I do a pretty wild shuffle and I just have them all pop out. But I'm trying to be restrained in this reading. <laughs> so I'm doing it a little differently. The last card is going to be the energy, like the potential future energy between you two. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with these oracle cards. Your energy first. So these popped out. I'm just going to take them. There's three. I didn't intend to have so many. So there might be kind of a lot going on with you because already there's like a bunch of cards coming out. And that wasn't my intention. But I'll take the cards. Um, that are dealt. <laughs> okay, so their energy. The energy of the connection currently. And then the last one is the pot potential future energy. And then I'm going to draw one of these energy archaeology cards, um, just one for the current energy between you in, uh, in the connection. Okay, so you've got a lot of cards. Um, so let's see what that means. Interesting. Okay, so we get the unseen and the dead end. And then father, guarded, and abundance. 
Okay, so that's you. And then for them, we get the Destroyer and Kindreds. The current energy between you, we get Release and Storm. and the ring and the riddle this doesn't surprise me <laughs> because it seems like there's a lot of conf maybe sort of conflicting confusing energies or like there are just a lot of thoughts going ar on around this like maybe what is happening here is a bit of a riddle um, and maybe you are this, this card indicates often that, um, you know, there's a question often being asked and maybe you're, it's just not time for you to know the answer. And also, um, maybe you already know the answer. It just depends on, on the situation. We'll, we'll get into that in a second. And then lastly, the potential future energy is union. And the stone okay so just really quickly the first thing that's coming to mind with this like I was saying is um, y'all are confused it seems like there's confusion on both sides and um, coming from you coming from them um, maybe even more so from you and just in generally in the air in this connection um, and I think maybe that's why there are so many cards that, that came out. So let's start with the magician. The, the magician is, um, you know, the ultimate alchemist. It's a person, um, or an entity that can kind of like creatively bend all the elements of the tarot to his or her own will they're very creative and a lot of times this is about um the situation is what you make of it and in this situation that's kind of what i'm seeing here like there's a lot about your own and this other person's in um and in their intent there's a lot here about intent and like shaping this connection and these energies into what you want them to to be um but at the same time there's i think there might be like a lack um of clarity here which makes sense if you're coming to the tarot reading you you're probably searching for for clarity I think this is confirming there is sort of maybe a lack of clarity. Again, I think kind of on uh, your side more so. So we have abundance. So you're giving off a very abundant energy. Um, and then we have the father here. So the abundant energy, you know, it's very bright. There's a lot of floral here. Um, there's excess and um, there's a lot of color. And so this is a good positive type of energy. And then you have the father, and this is a very masculine yang type of energy. So it could be that um, you're very active in this connection and vo maybe you're vocal about your feelings or you take steps um, you know, to show how you feel on the one hand. <laughs> but on the other hand, there is this sense of being very guarded this card is guarded um you know so abundance and father energy to me it's very like outgoing and outward expression but with the guarded card maybe there are times when you like pull that back and reel that in because you get a little nervous um you know or just reticent maybe not nervous the unseen is really about things under the surface and like even psychic energies. So there may be some sort of psychic element to, to the energy that you're giving off. 
And because there is an I in both of these cards, that connection and the energy that you're giving off, that psychic um, sort of unseen under the surface energy, you may feel very guarded and protective of that. Um, maybe you're unsure of it, which makes sense. So this is kind of like a very under the surface type of energy. And this is a very outgoing type of energy. And there's like, I think there's maybe this back and forth going on here. And it's, it's like there's a little bit of both happening at the same time. And the dead end card is kind of about like you questioning where is this even going at all? Is this a dead end? And I think your lack of clarity probably causes that, which makes sense. Um, it's like you you have this sort of forward motion and then at the same time you pull back and um, there's something about you that wants to become guarded. Like maybe at times you feel like you've done too much or you've said too much and so you kind of pull back in a way um, and you go more like silent and give off an energy that is more of like an undercurrent psychic energy rather than this sort of like outgoing outer energy and that causes you to just go like oh what even is this anyway like is this just a dead end what am I doing so I think maybe there's some confusion on your part and you're kind of giving off a couple of different energies here um opposing energies um so the other person's energy, it's also sort of conflicting, like yours is. We have kindreds here. So it's like on the one hand, it's like they're giving off the energy of, of you being kindreds, like kindred, kindred spirits or like soul mates or, you know, um, this energy of like, we're kind of meant to be together. And then also at the same time, it's like they're giving off the energy of the destroyer, which is sort of the energy which is described as like wanting things um, to end. Um, so it seems like this person also is vacillating between like we're kindred spirits, we're soulmates. Um, so giving off that type of energy and then also pulling back, sort of similar to your energy, pulling back away from that and kind of like maybe sabotaging it um, with the destroyer card. It seems like both of you are sort of conflicted. And when you get conflicted, it's like you just want to end it or like not think about it or... Um, you know, just dip, basically, <laughs> like, get, you know, just get out of the situation. So, um, for the energy that is between you, we get, again, like, some kind of conflicting energies. We get the storm, um, which I think both sides experience when they get, when they feel conflicted feelings, you get a storm. And then we have release and there are two hands here. And it's like almost, I think, and with the magician, this is interesting. So with the magician, we talk about, you know, the magician as being the creator, the alchemist, bending things to his will. It's like um, maybe there's a little bit too much control going on here. Um, you know, too much like, movement towards each other and then you you both get um anxious about that and pull back um when when it it could possibly um be a little bit better if you would like kind of like let go of control which you might be trying to do in in the overall energy of this it's like a release energy it might also be that you're kind of releasing things towards each other um, that makes me think of, of 
the dead end card over here and the destroyer card. It's like you kind of release emotion towards each other and it's almost like you get scared about that um, and, and pull back. So I think you're both equally kind of like trying to give in the connection energetically, but that sometimes causes a storm and it makes you, you pull back. It's like you catch yourself having like, you catch yourself having feelings, <laughs> you catch yourself catching feelings <laughs> and that freaks you out a little bit is kind of what I'm getting here. The ring, though, what's interesting about this is this is about like the intimate bond between lovers. It talks about connectedness and infinite, you know, how a ring is an, an infinite loop. So there is definitely connection here. But I think, again, you're you question it quite a bit. Um, it's like one minute you trust it and then the next minute you're questioning it, questioning it, pulling back and, and there's a storm. I think this makes sense now with all the cards that came out. Um, you just got more cards than the other pile so far. The last thing, though, is the, the potential future energy here is union. So it's almost like there's just too much control here. And it's like y'all are just doing too much, like doing the most. And if you would pull back a little bit and let things flow... This, you know, and maybe kind of like release a bit and and sort of relax into it if you can. I mean, I know that's so hard to do, but you do have these, you know, energies of abundance and like psychic connection and kin you got kindreds here. You got union for the potential future energy along with the stone. And in a, a stone is like, if you think about a stone it is eternal and um, it's, it's like an anchor and it lasts and it's durable. And I think that you have a lot of great potential for whatever this connection is, but I think there maybe is a little bit of a, of um, too much, control and trying to bend it to your will and maybe not enough and not enough release I think in the moments of release that you feel with the abundance and the unseen the psychic energy and the kindreds it's like you immediately again like I know I've said this a few times now but it's like that freaks you out a little bit and so you pull back. And so on your side, after you sort of, uh, you know, go with the flow and you really go with how you feel and you're feeling good, you, you feel like, oh my gosh, I have to stop this. This is a dead end. And then on this side, whatever person this is, it's like immediately they're in, relaxed into this kindred's energy and they want to just, it's like they catch themselves and they're like, oh no, you know, I can't do this. I have to destroy it or like sabotage it. Um, when in reality, there's definitely this connectedness here between you. And it seems like it's something that you both want and you both see it, but there's just a lot of, um, control issues happening. And, and, you know, the outcome is this sort of like eternal union, this very strong, like, a union that's as solid as a rock, like as solid as a stone, is the potential energy for this. Um, and it's like you have to, I think what it is, is like this card kind of depicts it nicely. It's like you have to reach out for each other equally, like neither one or the other needs to do too much. And it has to kind of be equal, kind of like these hands here like equally releasing how they feel about each other and not too much control just kind of like an easy feeling and and that is what is going to bring you together like into that um ring state of being and into this sort of eternal state of being with the stone um i'm going to just maybe pull 
one more card of advice and see if we can get anything from the energy archaeology deck that might be helpful. Just something you can do or something you can focus on just to kind of help um, bring you to this potential future energy because the potential future energy looks really great. Let's see, is there any advice or any energy we need to know about? Oh, okay. So we get worthy. And, you know, that might be it. Maybe the, the reason you shut it down is because, or, you know, and this could be, and this is like on both sides, maybe you're feeling it and you, you know there's something there, but you shut it down because you feel like you're not worthy. And maybe that's why you're always questioning it with the riddle card. This might be an issue of you just feeling worthy enough to like receive equally um, in equal measure from, you know, a potential partner, which makes sense. Um, but this, like in this image, this bear is like asleep in the cave with the sunshine in and it feels very easy and relaxed with it because whatever, you know, this little bear receives um, it knows it's worthy of it. And so it doesn't have to do too much. Um, and, and it kind of like is in the flow of life. And that, I think that makes sense for what's going on here because there's like so much potential here. And I think this card is just telling you, you know, um, that you're worthy of it and that it is definitely available to you. Um, and, and so there's a lot of self, I think there can be a lot of doubt here with this dead end card and the destroyer card. And I think that doubt comes from like a sense of maybe not feeling worthy. This reading is really nice. It seems like you and this person have quite the potential and, um, this union card is like so lovely. So... You know, whatever it is you can do to make yourself feel worthy in this connection and then to try to embody that energy in the connection, I think that will that will help you out immensely. Um, and try to let go of a little bit of control. All right, y'all, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the reading and got something out of it. If you like the reading, please subscribe um, or like the video. You can also go back and watch. Um, I have a bunch of other videos if you're interested. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to ask the cards about the energies that are going on in this connection. And um, we're going to ask about your energy, their energy, the overall energy, and also the future potential energy. I'm going to mostly be using Oracle cards for this and I'll have um, all of the decks linked in the description box below, but we're going to use the Kim Crayons archetype cards, the energy archaeology deck by Ashley Stinson and the roots and wings Oracle deck by Kat Riles. And then I'm going to pull a tarot card for just the general overall energy of what's going on in the connection. And this is the field tarot. So if you want to know about those decks, just look in the description box. So the first card I'm going to pull is overall, just very general, broad energy of, of the connection. Okay, so we get two, and I'm going to take them both. Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Swords. Okay. Then we're going to draw. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw an energy card for your energy you're, you're giving off in this relationship or in this connection. Sorry, doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship yet. Um, or it could be. Your energy, their energy, the energy currently contemporary or current energy of the connection and then the potential future energy. So the first card is the energy that you are giving off towards the other person. This one wants to pop. 
usually I shuffle really wild um, chaotically. I'm trying to kind of like be restrained in this reading. Um, so that's their energy. And then the next is the energy of just the connection between you. And then the next one is just the energy, the potential future energy. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with these cards. Okay, so your energy, oop, we get two, so we'll take them. The energy, their energy, the energy of the connection in general, the potential future energy. And then I'm going to pull an energy archaeology card for the energy between, between you. So just one of these. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So your energy is Gnosis. Wow, very spiritual. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we get spiritual guidance also and the magician. Um, so this, this seems like um, something very, very spiritually based. This is a very spiritually mature, um, I guess mature is the right word. It's a very spiritually based card and energy. And then we get spiritual guidance. So let's see what else we get. So their energy is nectar, the nectar, which is a very lovely card and hope which is also very lovely we got this card in another reading actually um so that's this seems very nice very spiritual very sweet like very optimistic um for the connection oh wow belonging wow y'all this is really this um energy seems very like something very spiritual like there's a belonging here a sweetness here um so the belonging card we've got these two snakes connected and the fire card which is like you know fire is a passionate energy like a sort of a slow burn type of energy and then the mentor again very spiritual I think there's a quite a spiritual element to this. Like you're you y'all are learning from each other. You you seem like very connected and very like focused on this relationship. Um that's really really nice. Wow, these um these readings so far have turned out um, just really nice. Okay, so the potential, uh, the first card is journey. And again, I think there's just a real spiritual element to this, like a spiritual journey type of element. And then the eternal child, which is like this very, um, you know, youthful, type of energy it's like the child within everyone um you know the elements of 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 a child within everyone like an an innocence um and, and also i think there's there's a lot about this energy the energy of the eternal child like the innocence that is very spiritual so right off the bat i'm seeing a very spiritual connection that is optimistic, um, spiritually guided. There's a sense of belonging, which really stands out to me. Like this is meant to be something that is really leading you on, um, you know, ultimately this, this journey to somehow rediscover something about yourself 
the inner sort of the innocence or the spiritual innocence of yourself. So I think this is all, this seems all very like divinely guided and you're learning a lot from this, this connection, whatever it is. So with the wheel of fortune card, I think, um, so this is, you know, this is really about like the wheel, sort of like the wheel of fate or, you know, fortune in the sense of your fortune, your fate. I think this is, this overall energy card is confirming that this is really like guided by the universe. It's guided by fate. Um, and this may be you and the other person. And, and really this, as this wheel turns, this wheel of fortune or wheel of fate, you know, these two cats are taking a ride. And, and that to me seems like what you're doing, like you're going through this cycle, um, this learning experience, this, this spiritual connection um, that, you know, could be really intense. And you're sort of learning, you know, learning lessons um, about the dark and the light and, you know, duality and different aspects of life I think with this deception card the seven of swords I think there are times when maybe you feel this um this real spiritual connection that's happening um and and it feels very faded to you um or to both of you but I think you doubt it sometimes and you wonder if that's what it really is. So it's like, um, sometimes you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, this is very spiritual. This is very faded. This is like part of something bigger. And then you fluctuate to, you know, feeling like, uh, is that what this really is? Like having doubts about it with the deception card. Um, with the deception card, often the feeling that I get from it or the seven of swords card is like, you're, you're, it's like you are denying the truth of, of a situation. Um, you're denying yourself that truth. And so I think what these cards are very clearly saying is that there is this very spiritually based connection that's happening. So, um, you know, the energy that you're giving off is this like very, highly integrated spiritual um, energy of gnosis it's it's with gnosis, it, with gnosis it's like you reach a point of spirituality to where um, and like oneness with the universe to where it's like you realize how smart like how small you are in the grand scheme of things and it's like you get to the point where you're so spiritually attuned, you realize how little you know, if that makes any sense. It's like you you realize how much there is to know and, and really how like you know nothing at all, if that makes any sense. You might want to look up Gnosis um, to kind of get a better sense of that. But this, this card in this deck is kind of just like this very um, spiritually wise energy it's just a true energy of like this real knowing this real spiritual knowledge um, it's a very like mysterious type of spiritual energy and and it involves like you know, healing and mysticism and it's just extremely spiritual is what I'm getting. And, and you get the spiritual guidance card. So I think you feel this, this sort of divine guidance in your energy that you give off about this connection that you give off to this other person. And then, you know, the, the magician could very much be part of this, um, spiritual guidance and like your spiritual knowing and this alchemy that's taking place. Um, I think you're giving off 
an energy of alchemy between you and this person. Which is very, very interesting. It's like this is in a way intense, but it's not intense in a bad way. It's like this just very pervasive, subtle, um, sweet, connected energy between, you know, spiritually guided, again, energy between you two. So this is the energy you're giving off. The energy that they are giving off is the nectar. And, you know, the nectar is the sweetness, the sweetness of, you know, life in general and, and the sweetness of what is contained within a human being. Um, just this pure, sort of innocent, sweet energy and and it's very optimistic and you get the hope card. So this other person is very hopeful and is projecting this sort of nectar um, energy and hope energy towards you. I would say these two very much sort of match energies like you and this person your energies definitely seem like consistent with 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 each other and they seem to match each other the nectar card can also talk about like healing energy and like you know the nectar being an elixir and it's almost like medication so you know, it's like this person is giving off this sort of healing balm type energy towards you, um, which is really, it's very lovely. So then for the energy of the connection between you, we get the mentor. So I think there is something that you are offering each other. You are... Um, you're mentoring, sort of mentoring each other, you're learning from each other, and you are giving off sort of a, a spiritual energy that this person is learning from, and this person is giving off this sort of sweet, healing, hopeful energy towards you um, that you're learning from, and maybe it's that you had to go through lots of different um, trials and tribulations and phases in order to gain all the spiritual knowledge because it seems like you have a lot of spiritual knowledge um, and I don't think that usually comes easily and so maybe this person to you is like this is like healing you in a way and in exchange you are um, helping them spiritually like you are mentoring them in a spiritual way so you're learning from each other which is also really lovely there's you know passion here there's fire, um, you know, fire is, is, it's like this eternal sort of passion, um, this warmth feeling. And then this belonging card, I mean, I think this card just really, really shows, like, both of you, um, both of your energy sort of equally balanced together. This is really, really nice, y'all. Um, and you, and it's like you just, your energies belong together. And you're equally entwined. Um, and I think you're equally con contributing to each other, the lessons each other is learning. And again, I think this is all very divinely guided. And, and, um... And I think sometimes one or you or both of you maybe doubt doubt it because it is just so divinely guided and it seems very intense and it's like almost like it seems too good to be true in a way. Maybe that's how you're feeling about it. And then your future potential energy is journey. So, you know, going on a journey together your energy is taking a journey together and probably in pursuit of this this eternal child energy which is um you know innocence and and maybe it goes back to a time before you kind of experienced you know the things that we experience 
as children, but also as adults, um, you know, we get wounded as we get older in different situations and different environments for different reasons. And maybe this connection that you have with each other takes you back to this sort of simplicity, this eternal child energy where you just feel safe and cared for um, and you just kind of feel this pure joy like this ageless timeless joy it's it's a very nice very nice card um, and it's also very place playful and magical and um, very accepting and um, again innocent so I think um, there's a lot of learning and healing and um, spirituality in this connection and there's a lot of you know potential here for you know a real like journey um, and an important, some sort of important journey for both of you learning from each other um, for various reasons and like experiencing each other's energy is like healing to you both and it's a lesson to you both and it's very divinely guided. Um... Wow, y'all. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and that you got something out of it. And if you like the reading, please subscribe to the channel and um, like the video. And if you want to leave a comment, that would be awesome. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.